And I remember thinking, oh, I can't do an opera. I'm not a singer. Um, but the role doesn't require that much singing. It's mostly sort of comic, um, very broad. I play a really nasty person. Mm -hmm. She's um, Parthi Ann Hawks, or her, her real name is Parthenia. She's married to Andy Hawks, who owns The Showboat. And Edna Ferber wrote this novel, um, and the focus of the novel is their children, Andy and Parthi's children, Magnolia, and then her daughter, Kim, and in Francesca Zambella's ad adaptation. The focus is really more on Magnolia leaving the nest, falling in love with a, a bad guy, and um, having a baby with him. And, and so I play someone who's not happy with my daughter's choices. <laughs> Lyric opera, I mean, I've never played in a house this big. There are, you know, almost 4,000 people in the audience, and it, it's, it's stunning to me. It's sometimes at the end when we take our bows, the sound is like a wave. I've never experienced anything like it. It's been a lot of le learning for me at this point in my life, which is strange, but I've had to learn how to be real and truthful in a very large place. They can only rehearse five or six hours a day. We normally, in my union, in the Actors Union, rehearse like eight hours a day. They um, can only do three performances a week. We do eight. And it's because they have, their voices are their instruments. They have to rest that. But it is different. Like, I, I have a performance tonight, and I haven't done the thing for three or four days. And I, you know, I have to, on the way down, I have to sing through what I'm singing. I have to, re I, I have to reacquaint myself each time. So it, it really is very um, different. Whatever I do, whatever show I do, wherever I work, there's always a huge Northwestern presence and connection, which is great. Completely unbeknownst to me, a backdrop, a painted backdrop of the cityscape, downtown Chicago. And, and it's there. Northwestern University on the, in one of the scenes. I suppose the old hospital downtown was a historic building. Some great designer drew that and painted it and you know blew it up to the size of, practically the size of the building itself. I think I'm a better teacher for being an actress and I know I'm a better actress for being a teacher. I can't remember doing a play where I didn't feel like I was learning something on the job. And I don't think I could ever do one or the other. I'd have to always do both.